Just say a few words about Wilson. I've known Wilson now for about nine, ten years. Both of my kids, uh, both, both of my boys uh, in club soccer, one of whom's playing college right now, one of whom's a senior, is going to play in college next year. Uh, Wilson is an unbelievable guy. And as, as everybody here knows, any organization, uh, especially a new and sipping organization, has to have a charismatic leader who is responsible for the mission of whatever that organization is. And Wilson is, is, from the minute I met Wilson, um, I was impressed with his ability to connect to people of all walks of life, especially kids who were impoverished and poor uh, and had nothing going for them. Um, about a year after I met Wilson, he took both of my son's teams down to Brazil. And it was, an, it was a two week experience that people here who, whose kids went, Brett Miller um, among others. It was an amazing experience. Wilson took us to the favelas. Uh, we, we played favela soccer teams. We collected soccer gear, cleats, jerseys. Uh, in fact, we had given, Wilson had organized a drive for the favelas the prior year, and as our bus, I think this was 2009, was driving into the first favela, there was a kid in the favela wearing a Barabic jersey, one of, one, of my, one of my kids' jerseys. So it was, it was really sort of an amazing experience. Um, so Wilson has organized the favela project and, and institutionalized it. It now has official 501c3 status. And we really need to um, collect money to make Wilson's mission work. So Sherry Miller is handing out pledge cards, and if you can, doesn't matter if you pledge a dollar or if you pledge fifty dollars, fill it out, put it into a box, and there's a chance we're gonna we're gonna draw from those cards at about 9:15 tonight. The big prize was a soccer ball signed by Pele, and there are other prizes as well. Um, but with that, I'm gonna introduce uh, Wilson. As usual. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you very much. First of all, um, you know, thank you for coming. It's uh, you know, for me, the favela project has given me the pleasure and the satisfaction. But mostly, number one, to be able to help people in the favelas around the world, and number two. It puts me in a position to be in the vessel uh, for people like you to be able to contribute to make the, the, the whole plan works. So uh, I'm just very glad that you're here uh, uh, in first place. And uh, just to uh, talk about a little bit about how the, the favela uh, project started. Um, uh, I take groups to Brazil to play uh, 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 soccer with uh, and train with professional teams. And uh, I, um, I started making trips to the favelas to play games. And um, it was very uh, upsetting to me to see our kids showing up from New York with uh, a $200 soccer shoe playing against a kid with no shoe. And then, you know, by thinking about, I, I started creating the, um, suggesting that kids bring a um, donation bag. And that grew into the favela project where we start raising uh, with my connection with Upper 90, the soccer stores in New York. It grew into a, a much larger uh, a, a plan of action where we raised an enormous amount of, 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 of uniform, used uniform, and went down to Brazil, played the game in the favelas and distributed that to the kids. Um, so, you know, that's where we are here today. Uh, as, a, uh, as an official 501c3, and in front of you, um, I think that, you know, uh, like I said, just to be in, in New York, in front of you, uh, and, and being able to, I call myself the middleman, uh, that's the way I see me, right? Just to be able to go back to Brazil, or in some cases, like we have uh, distributed soccer equipment to uh, uh, kids in Haiti, in Colombia, in Mexico. We just uh, uh, recently came from uh, St. Lucia. 
um, where we were able to um, collect in a couple, uh, you know, in, in less than a week, we were able to collect 300 pounds of soccer equipment. Right? And the frustrating part of, of, of this part is, is that when you come down with 300 pounds of equipment, there's a need for another 600 pounds of equipment. You know, so, hi Olivia. <laughs> I got a present, I got a, uh, donation. It, it's actually, uh, uh, you can just like bid for it and, and have it in the end of the night. But anyway, so, uh, you know, in, in one of those trips, just to, uh, um, uh, to show you a little bit and tell you a little bit about what we're doing, I met uh, a girl, uh, Laiz, which is in here today, she'll come up. So Laiz, uh, she gave me permission to talk about, a little bit about her story. and. Um, so uh, I met Laís, she, she, we played a game in, at uh, San Marcos Favela in Salvador. And after the game, this girl came up to me and said, Chio, which is the word for uncle. And she said, can I have a, a soccer shoes? And I looked down and, uh, you know, her shoes was completely busted. She was literally stepping on, 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 on dirt. Um, you know, I, I, I lost it right there. I, I choked and I, you know, fortunately I had someone with me that was able to give her shoes. And then, to make the long story short, um, I kept in touch with Laís through about four or five years. We were able to support her with some uh, English classes in Brazil and with some um, school uh, 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 goods and equipment, supplies. And uh, again, so Laís is here now in New York on a full uh, scholarship to a community college ASA. She had a wonderful uh, two years, MVP, top scorer. And uh, Laís, if you can come up for a second, please. And uh, so and Laís, by the way, it's, uh, has uh, uh, offered to play Division I school, and she has to choose between three, five, three to five schools to go to uh, uh, in the fall of uh, 2016 and here's Laís and she gonna... she's going to tell you a little bit about her experience and how it was like growing up in Brazil meeting the Favela Project and the Wilson and where she is today. So here you go girl, you're on the pressure now. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Laís Araújo. Um, I'm from Salvador Bahia in Brazil. Uh, very um, sorry. <laughs> um, where in the community of Brazil, where I met with some playing soccer, I was I think 12 years old. I was playing with the boys, and um, Wilson came up with the um, favela project, um, and with the guys, um, and then we played against them, and we just met. And I, at the day, I didn't have a proper shoe. Um, I was playing and like, I, I know I touched him, you know? And he, he was there crazy looking for a shoe for me. <laughs> and then it, I got a shoe from there, I thank it and everything. And it was a very good time. And then a day after that, we went to, to the, uh, me and my cousin went to the, to the beach. And we met Wilson and the guys there, and I, uh, we started playing around and just met him and said, wow, that's crazy. And then I can think today it was everything playing. It was like God was there and, you know, everything had to happen. Um, now I'm here and we keep, kept talking, oh, talking and I, um, I studied a little bit of English in Brazil. I mean, <laughs> I learned a little bit, but everything I know today it was, you know, I, from here and Wilson helping with everything, people around, I, I had um, stuff. I mean, this is not even mine. <laughs> and um, I want to say, yeah, <laughs> I want to, like, thank you very much, Wilson, and everyone who helped me to be here and you know, now I have two offers to, um, two full offers for full scholarship in um, my next year. Five, six 
sisters, I have my, my dad and my mom. It has always been very hard. And I'm like the dream of the family, you know? And sorry. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm here. And with this project, I wouldn't have your family. I just, I want to ask it for you guys that can help that, you know, do something to this so so this can be bigger every, you know, every year. I know we'll still have, not, in, not only in Brazil, but everywhere. And I would love to make more, you know, part of this and go back there and, you know, say I have this because of the project. Like, like I said, Maggie has been great. Great grades, great attitude. She's a captain of the whole team and she's moving on. And um, hopefully one day, who knows, she'll be running the favela project. And, uh, and, yes. on, and through Maggie, you're able to um, uh, bring uh, three other uh, Brazilian players that are here, around here somewhere. So you know, this is the, uh, the process and this is what we're looking for. Um, to have more people like Laiz, offer them a, a chance to come to the US and, and go to college. and and further themselves in life and, and, and help the families. So um, um, I just need to thank a few people that um, has um, worked with me, have worked with me throughout, you know, for a long time now in order to get to where we are. Uh, first of all, the board of directors, I have uh, uh, Jeff uh, Nett will come up in a few minutes. Uh, Raymond uh, uh, Bohon will be here, a friend of mine, went to Brazil a couple of times, and the lovely, beautiful uh, Kyoko. Um, and then I, I, I had the, the, the uh, we were fortunate to have the, the, the support and the help of um, um, uh, Brett and his company, Michael, here today, uh, with, helped us out with the legal aspect of it and getting ready, and, and, and it was an amazing, uh, uh, long uh, process. But, you know, just to show you that, uh, you know, and it, it, takes a, it, it takes a village, and uh, we definitely uh, uh, realize that. And uh, aside of that, uh, we have uh, um, a part of, as part of the team that is planning to move this forward, we have uh, um, Jason Schiller, Lance um, uh, Leitner, which has been, done a great job with the website and, uh, and all, you know uh, all the, 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 the stuff that is still around as far as um, uh, PayPal and, 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 and you know amazing job and, and Darius, which is not here today. And least but not uh, last but not least, Amy Barabek, which is John's wife, has done an amazing job. Um, uh, realizing that. And what do you have in here? Amy Barabic, a person of the year. Well, okay. Where's John Barabic? John Barabic is here. He's been here before. All right. So now we, without, uh, let's move this on. I was told to be, to look professional. Uh, be quick. And uh, so uh, here you go. You. We're moving on. I'm going to bring in Jeff Annette with uh, 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 someone that is really, really responsible for being where you are. As far as getting the favela project, we were dormant for a few years, and Jeff uh, realized that uh, the need of some kids in Iraq somewhere, and then he we got together, and then that's it. this is the outcome we hear now. Jeff, it's all yours. Thank you. Thanks, Wilson. Uh, just very briefly, thank you all again for coming out tonight and supporting this effort. We're really happy that we had such a great turnout. Um, your efforts are going to be able to enable us to continue the work that we're doing in collecting soccer clothing and cleats and equipment and soccer balls. But ultimately our goal is to be able to raise money and create a scholarship fund for worthy um, soccer athletes in Brazil and the United States to be able to support their higher ed um, education aspirations and, and ability to move ahead in life. Um, and, so, Laís is the first person, and uh, she's a, a great example of what we can potentially do. So, any money that you can contribute to that effort is going to be a huge help to us. Um, I just want to uh, thank a few people. Wilson sort of stole my thunder because I have a list of people I wanted to thank, and you mentioned most of them already. But I'll say it again. Um, first, first and foremost, I really want to the Favela Project. All of us that have been involved with the Favela Project. I want to thank the um, company Morrison, Morrison and Forrester. They have been our legals and legal, uh, they provided all of the legal assistance to us 
um, in, help, in helping us get our 501c3 status in, in an incredibly quick time. I mean, it was like a miracle that we got it in like two months or less. Um, so kudos go to Mike Hyken, who's here. Michael, please raise your hand. Um, the other folks that have helped Michael out, Joshua Clayman, Open Banks, and Michael Doherty. Again, thank you very much to Morrison Forrester for helping us out. Um, please give them a round of applause because without their efforts, we wouldn't be here tonight. Nor would your donations be tax deductible. Um, also, I want a, a big shout out to Upper 90, um, Zach Rubin and Doug Katinas. Uh, um, Upper 90 has been very instrumental, as many of you know, and many of you soccer parents, they've been collecting a lot of the gear that you've donated um, over the years, and um, they've been a huge supporter of uh, Favela Project. Um, I also want to thank Lance Leitner. Um, Lance is sitting back there, he's been collecting money and uh, checking people in. Lance has been instrumental in getting our website off the ground, and it's been a lot of hard work in, the, in a very short period of time. And, um, I really want to show my appreciation to Lance. He's been a, a real trooper in this effort in the last, minute, last few minutes. And um, last, last but not least, um, the Baravics, particularly Amy Baravic and John Baravic, um, they've been a huge help in giving us this final push to get this night together. So I want to thank them. And to all the other people that have been very involved with the Favela Project over the years, thank you very much. Um, the, as you, Wilson mentioned, the Favela Project not only is helping organizations out in, uh, in Brazil, but we've also, in the last couple of years, supported organizations in Haiti, Nicaragua, um, in, in Ghana, West Africa, um, the Philippines, Baghdad, Iraq, um, uh, and multiple places in Brazil. So through all of your efforts, your contributions, maybe one day you'll be walking down the street and like Wilson said in Salvador, or like John said in Salvador, and you'll see a t-shirt that some kid's wearing that has your kid's name on, on the back of it. Don't be surprised if that happens, because it, it's happened before. Um, and that's, that's it. So uh, have a great night, and thank you very much. All right, just moving along, we want to make it this short and quick. Uh